Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Outer Wilds. And after the events of the last episode, I don't really have a specific plan for where to go next. But I do know one thing. I want to start messing more with these quantum shards. Now, we found a few of them, and basically what we learned actually seems to sort of go with what they said at the quantum moon locator. Which maybe we should go back there, actually. Because it said that it talked about a sixth location that it may sometimes go to. And we did learn that we can travel with that teleportation. If teleportation is what it can really be called. I wonder if these dead trees would actually suggest that this land was once, like, actually fertile and had more growing on it naturally? Or are these going to be more of those quantum trees that change? No, it doesn't look like it. I really have to do wonder about the history of some of these planets. I mean, it seems like every planet in the solar system is kind of coming apart. But then again, the scale for everything is so small. And some of the things that I found sort of make me wonder if maybe the time scale isn't relatively very small as well. Now, oh, there is also the matter of the interloper. We want to get it actually while it's on its way to the, uh, to the sun. It's one of those times where efficiency is key. We want to see it at its closest point uh, so that we can tell if that fissure will open up. All right, this time we want to get there first because it seems to begin the cycle on its way in. That crack that's very visible in the front of it, that's got to be what opens up. But we haven't observed yet what happens when it's at its closest point to the sun. That's the only thing I can think of is that maybe the ice will melt some? I mean, they said it was on the sun-facing side. I spent a lot of last episode trying to figure this out. But just flying around it hasn't revealed anything useful. Now we know that the sun's gravity will just pluck us right off, though. You hear that? You hear that? Yep. That's the sound melting ice makes, I suppose. Okay, uh, where is that fissure? Was it over here more? Yes, 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 yes. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. I hope it's not too long a length of time. I'm getting grabbed by the sun's gravity. That is so... Ah! It's a tug of war. Well, there goes our chance. Wait, nope, maybe we can still salvage this, but I think the ice is going to start to fill itself back in. We should have enough oxygen if it's been this long. Oh, those are... Those are pieces of the asteroid itself. I think that's ice coming off of it. Or comet, rather. Okay, you open up. And... In we go. Oh, it's like playing Subnautica. Ooh. Slip and slide. Slip and slide. Let's control our speed here so that we don't end up slipping and sliding right into a wall. Ghost matter. Yeah, I couldn't use the camera turning uh, feature, no. This time I just want to use photo mode. That tunnel looks okay. As does that one. Now, we do have oxygen here. This must be where the other two researchers ended up. I'm receiving much stronger energy recordings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realize. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we'll lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. Oh, they did. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Alright, but nothing new learned. 
All of this suggests that ghost matter is going to be a constant danger here. But... Nope, 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 nope. So that's how it's gonna be, is it? If we go deep enough, it's gonna get harder and harder to avoid. Okay, so that's where the ghost matter is, meaning we can probably continue down this way, and it's the same path. Ooh. I really love how each environment in this game presents its own unique hazards. That's not a place we want to go. There is so much of this stuff here. Is this perhaps some kind of origin for the stuff? Alright, where do we go from here? Yeah, we definitely can't make our way down there. It's definitely not going to work out for us. Luckily, the gravity is basically nil. Uh, maybe... Ooh, we can come up to this pocket over here. That's something we can do. Actually, I should probably never put this thing away entirely. It'll warn me when danger is close, but I still want to be ready on my own. like being swallowed. Okay, do not take the left path. Take the right path. Uh, not that I have any sense of direction here. Uh, it's like a mini game. I feel like this whole world takes place, like, in the gummy ship segments of Kingdom Hearts. We gotta make our way over to there. Whoop. Bounce off the ceiling. That's okay. That's better than bouncing off the ghost matter, which seems to infest this place's core. The deeper we go, the more we see, and man, this all feels so much deeper than... Oh. Nothing but the suit itself. A victim of the ghost matter? It looks like they tried to crawl their way out. Okay. Let's have a look. See, these shards have something to do with it. Actually, since those appear everywhere we see it, does that maybe indicate that these are like ice crystals or something? Something native to the interloper itself? Oh, this must be the core. Yes, look at this. Some kind of mineral deposit? And here's the other. The fact that it's these two, like these two in particular, makes this so much worse. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No. Rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, the matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? 
The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. I maybe shouldn't be getting so close. I'm also running low on resources. Um, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Okay, lots and lots of ghost matter that way. We can exit the way we came in. But I'm not sure what to do about this. Like, what can I do? Ghost matter that way as well. Yeah, this must be what wiped them out. I think it's already blown out of this casing. I think that's what we're seeing. Alright, uh, no, no, no. Switch back to the other thing. We need to find that narrow space, yes. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it out, but it's not a huge deal if we don't. That's crazy how, due to the gravity, the slide also works in reverse. But I don't want to burn fuel doing this, come on. I need more momentum. Okay, well, we have oxygen. But we're extremely likely going to run out of fuel. Also, wait, I just, I just remembered, why am I even trying this? Wait, can we still make it out? Oh, perhaps we can. Uh, using oxygen as propellant. No, 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 no. No, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, if we actually survive this, that'll be nuts. This is literally down to the wire. There we are. Okay. Okay, that was sick. That was sick. That was truly a, even though the stakes weren't very high, that was truly a great survival story. I am so much better than the Nomai. Uh, they're so cool, how come they died? Uh, let's see, ruptured core. I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. So the Southern Observatory, I wonder if we can, like, flying in is a dangerous game, right, because of the gravity from the core, but maybe we'll be able to see some way of doing it? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look at the platforming! We hadn't discovered this before. Alright, if we just land on one of these, it doesn't even matter if we're able to save the ship. Like. All that really matters is that we land somewhere for long enough to get ourselves out. Where does this whole path lead, though? Hmm, it's a question of getting ourselves here. The ship is going to start to fall in, and if it does, we're going to have issues. But I think we're on the right track here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, unbuckle, suit on, get out, on we go, come on! Ah, uh, this is going to be so hard to do. You know what? Meditate. Never mind. Whoa. Quantum moonrise. Oh, look at the way we can watch it spin like a beach ball. Allegedly, it does have a surface. Let's put on our suit first so that we can bail quickly if need be. I haven't seen if there's... Like, any reason not to wear the suit, ever? But we need to go back to Brittle Hollow. That's the lead we need to keep pursuing. We have a basic idea of how we're going to get into the Southern Observatory. It's just a matter of, well, finding a place to park, really. Ah, now this is interesting. I hadn't noted this before. I knew that chunks were falling down into the abyss. But if you come here early, you actually can't cheat because too much of the planet is still here. Alright, so maybe there is somewhere we can enter the core from early on? I mean, I do want to get my ship down there, because that'll enable me to at least see what's going on here. Well, as an appetizer, 
it did tell me that there was more to explore at this cannon. Let's check this out. I actually... Have I seen this little village already? This doesn't look too familiar to me. Unless I was here like a long, long time ago. I didn't realize there was anything right here. Brittle hollow projection stone. Oh, this must be in the observatory itself. I think we've actually, we may have been to this segment already. Like, in real life, not just in the projection stone. Why can't I leave? There we go. Oh, look, <laughs> it's little snowflakes. All right, uh, what say you? I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude to your directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Okay, so it tells us how to get there, but I'm not the best at following directions like that. That'll be the path, right? I've got to assume that this path is the one lit by these. I'm so worried that any one of these could collapse at any time. And our jetpack doesn't really do a whole lot for us on this planet. It's a pilgrimage to begin the pilgrimage. Uh, well, there's certainly something over there. Eh, I guess it's good enough for getting across these gaps. It's been a while since I've actually explored down here. Oh, it is so dark. But there certainly is something there. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It's going to be a difficult maneuver. But have we made it? This does not look familiar to me. Oh, no, no, it's not going to be a difficult maneuver. Yay! All right, power restored. Let me in. Oh, this is the top part. I don't think I'm where I'm supposed to be. I mean, we came to the west. Down there is some place we've been. Yeah, that's where I got annihilated earlier. Or is it some place we've been? Hang on. Uh, um, um, um. Okay, good. There's ground beneath. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would not put that past this game. All right. Well, look, we should be on one of the poles, right? So, this must be how we're meant to get up there. Now, I'll remember that some of the segments were destroyed. Maybe we do just have to gravity our way up there. Uh, well, this is destroyed as well. Have we seen this before? Hang on. Also, we've got to still remember to be on the lookout for other things. Oxygen, good. Yeah, no, it, it's so hard for me to tell if I've seen something or if I haven't in Brittle Hollow. I no longer believe that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us but it may not want to be found either. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that. 
circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. And that my, and that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. Okay, uh, let's go through here and then we'll see what's going on at the front of all this. I honestly appreciate their propensity for indoor gardening. It makes things a lot easier for me as well as all future explorers. Alright, let's go, 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 go. See, the weird thing is, they talk about these things being so unstable, but when we arrive, it's like they don't start being unstable until the events of this game. It's very confusing in that way. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the solar system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the Eye of the Universe? The Eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. It's the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks of a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. Or perhaps it's lack of age? Wow, a real bounty of knowledge here, guys! Ah, it's almost starting to look like more of a religion than science, much as they'd like to dress it up as science. I mean, come on. Alright, did we learn anything? We literally learned nothing. Or at least we gained no leads. According to this, there's still more to learn from the Hanging City. So according to this, that's the path to the Southern Observatory. Fortunately, that doesn't really tell us a whole lot. Like, okay, so we can go that way, but it's easy to get lost along the way. I want to try and get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Figuring out Brittle Hollow as much as possible is going to be my main goal for this episode. All right, now we know that there's gaps here, but perhaps we can, I don't know, exploit this somehow? It doesn't look like there's gonna be any way to get a ship through here. Yeah, no, I, I don't see how to do this. All right, uh, if we go like this, those both activate, that one is malfunctioning. Actually, they're both quite malfunctioning. So this path doesn't work. So that over there is where we need to be then. We're not going to make that with our jetpack. Worth a shot, I guess. Come on, maybe we can make that. Maybe we can make that. Yes. Okay. So that was a thing. Uh, we can walk up this wall. Hmm. Yep. Needed a little bit of assistance there. And here we are. Yep, this is the pilgrimage. 
think this is what we were trying to get to before, uh, but all of this is collapsing at quite a rapid pace. And I'm still not quite sure where exactly I'm going. This is all going to be things I've seen before, I think. Unless... Oh, stop that. Or have we seen this before? Because this certainly doesn't look familiar. Wait. Yeah, it had to be something. Okay, that's our move. Oh, but it starts off launching us in the wrong direction. We don't gain, uh, we don't gain altitude right away from that. I hope that's the last of the ghost matter, because this is going to be a tricky segment if it's not. It never feels right. Here we are. I think this is it. But remind me to be careful here. Because we are not free of the pit to the core. Looks like there is stuff down there. But no, do the risky stuff last. Never mind, the risky stuff isn't done from the look of it. Ugh. I love the Indiana Jones elements of this game, but man, are they annoying when it takes like 15 minutes to try again. Uh, uh, even more of those crystals over there. This may not even be the last of it. Or maybe that's the other path. Because look, we took the path from the tower, but there is also the observatory route. Alright, uh... Please work, please work, please work, thank you. Ooh. There's a tablet on the ground over there. That pool... Wait, have we maybe seen this before in one of the projection stones? Oh, and look! A pair of simulated cyclones, like on... like on Giant's Deep. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? Why wouldn't you? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. I am glad you did. So, okay, so clockwise... Clockwise go up! Counterclockwise, go down. That's how we do it. Oh, that is so sick. There's the other side of that door. Okay, there's more information to be gained, though. And I think we still have plenty of time in this cycle. Ah. Uh, you know, as somebody into urban exploration, there is nothing more satisfying than seeing the other side of a door that stopped your progress earlier. Giant Steep Projection Stone. Uh, let's see your visuals first. Yep. It's the construction yard, which we are already familiar with. Actually, I think we've seen this already in general. Yeah, we've seen this already. We learned this from another place. We do know that there's a little bit of redundancy, which I imagine is part of the plan for... Because, look, this whole game can be taken literally, like, in any order. So perhaps that's why. Now, this pool must have once contained something. 
What else is there to be seen up here? Oh, that's what it does. It reveals models. This one being the twins, I guess. This one, oop, gotta gotta represent the hometown. There we are. And the Atler Rock, that is so cool. Okay, what else can you tell us? What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Based on our knowledge of the Quantum Moon, we believe the Eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the Eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the Eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the Eye itself. The locator we built on the Atler Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the Eye's signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star's system. Uh, is that some heresy we're hearing? I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. It's so cool how we can sort of see this multi-generational story play out. You are another one of those annoying ones that seems to only open under certain circumstances. Hmm. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the Eye of the Universe? We know what the Eye looks like thanks to the Quantum Moon. So that's where the answer is. So what if we try to find the Eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun and so would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless. Except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes. Let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. Mello's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? Hmm. As we couldn't find the eye's signal using the two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. So they had a way to ensure that it was heading in the right direction. Uh, whether that's something that we've already discovered, I have no idea. See, the thing is, over this time scale, you do lose some sense of context. You forget about things you've already seen. Which is why sometimes when I'm editing, I gain new ideas for things to go explore. But I think we're about done here. And we're ready to head down and see how we can get beneath the waves at Giant's Deep. I've still yet to determine how to actually enter the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ship's Log, what can you tell us? There we are. Well, that's more or less that whole line settled. But we did learn a whole lot about not only the nature of the probe itself, but also how it works, that there's more to learn more. See, that's the thing. Sometimes learning that there's more to learn is itself a lead. Uh, but more importantly, we figured out how to get beneath the current, which means we can access what they had set up on that island within uh, Giant's Deep. At this point, I don't think it really super matters if we lose the ship. So I'm just going to go in and go for it. Maybe, like, it'll be a big help if we can get the ship down under the waves. I don't know how well it'll perform underwater, this being a spaceship and all, but hey, this is a test run, isn't it? Alright, approaching, approaching. 
Remember, we want the counterclockwise. All right. We're both clockwise. Uh, performance taking a real hit here. Yeah, this game really does not like this place. Uh, we need to find ourselves a counterclockwise cyclone. There is a counterclockwise one. First one I've spotted. All right, let's go for it. In, in, in we go, and... We may have to do it ourselves. There goes our performance again. Send us down. Oh, it is so hard to catch a cyclone by swimming. Who'd have thought? But this is getting really, really irritating. Come on. There's only so much time left in the universe, you know? So let's go for it. If I can even get into it. Come on, let's use you to push us down. Ugh, it doesn't work. And we're picked up by a regular clockwise one. up here. Yep, there we go. Oh. Look at that. And look at you. Hello, Jelly. Oh, you're... You're amazing and huge. This will surely enable us to explore some things underneath some of the islands. But wow, look at you. There must only be a handful of you on the planet if this is all we can see from here. Ooh. Is that dangerous as we get close to the core? Is that gonna hurt us? Ow. Yes. Yes, it is. We can't penetrate that. Uh, all right, let's get out and make some repairs. So we can get some lights on in here, uh, but honestly, let's just take a moment because, I mean, look. This is why I enjoyed Subnautica so much. It's the moments like this. The moments you're in a place you're supposed to be, but you're comfy and cozy in your own little space that you're free to walk around in. It's like, imagine if this was your view from your bedroom window. That's what this is like. All right, let's make some repairs so we can turn our lights on. There we are. <laughs> I like the tape over the wires. Back in with us. And I guess we'll start having a look to see where we can go. Uh, now, I know I saw some land not too far away, although the land is a constantly changing thing. All right, let's just keep moving around and see what we can spot. That actually looks like it might have been the giant island that's contained in the large cyclone. Wait, let's have a look at the underside of it. Maybe there's some place we can come up within. Or maybe this is close enough. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can do it. We might be too close. All right, let's just come up and see what we can do. If we get ejected, we get ejected. There goes our performance again. And it's seemingly back. Yeah, it seems to have real issues with these cyclones. Uh, it's going to show up even laggier for you on the recording than it is for me, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do. Alright, our log updated when we breached down below. The ocean depths. 
The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. But can we go deeper? That's the question. Uh, I almost have to wonder if this huge protective cyclone isn't intentional. I mean, it's eternal, just always in this one spot. There's a landing pad. And is this perhaps some kind of moon pool? Maybe they built some kind of submarine or something was supposed to land here? Now, the weather is dark, but this place almost seems like a paradise. Not only is it calm beneath the waves, it's a lot more calm within these cyclones. Why does a narrow hallway feel so weird? It's only when I look at it that I realize it's something we haven't actually really seen in this game so far. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Huh. So it's almost like this is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, or like a copy of it. I wonder if it has some kind of entanglement with the one on Brittle Hollow. Ooh. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Hmm. Now why would that be? Is there anything else here? No? Just want to make sure, because it looks like going down might be a one-way trip. Oop. Ah. Caught us at the last moment. That's good, because I don't think my jetpack would have done much to prevent that. Oh, this is going to be a wealth of knowledge. Seek the Wandering Arch. There you are. Okay, wait, let's keep it in our sight. We already know these tricks. Ah, and that gets us down. But was there any more for us to read here? Yeah, I know your tricks. I'm just trying to make sure I see everything. Wait, can I get you to appear closer to me so I don't have to walk as far? There we go. <laughs> See, I really am becoming a master of quantum knowledge. Oop. That really is a trust fall, isn't it? And I don't. I don't trust. Now what is it about you, quantum plant, unidentified signal nearby? That's the source of the giant's deep signal. We're getting very close. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what you mean for me to understand by that, though. Okay, so... Oh wait, no, I have an idea. Tell you what, photo mode, you. And then you'll still be there, right? Oh wait, if that's the case, if that's the case, then that's quite the hack we've got. Okay, this is actually a game changer of information. Oh, I love this game, I love this game, I love this game. All right, uh, so we do that. Yo. Is there anything for us to observe around these sides? No. That plant can still move freely, right? But it won't, oh no, because the plant is actually in the image. 
down here. All right, uh, what saith you, wise stone? The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, we can walk up these walls, but when unobserved, you can still fall out from under me. Okay, well, we'll do that. Preventing you from escaping. Do that. And now that you're here, okay, we can do that. And here we are. We needed to get you to align. We. Now I wonder if this is the same quantum shard that's been moving throughout. Or actually, you're probably the source of the signal. Okay, there you are. There we go. The question is, what more can we do with that? It's incredible how learning makes it feel like we're gaining a superpower here. This is the last one, but we made it harder. I love that language because everything here has had sort of the cadence of almost a religious shrine. So it's really fun to see that classic know my attitude shine through even in this. Uh, you made it harder. There was a crystal. Okay, I need you guys to stay. Will more of you appear lower? Is there something we can do with you? Hang on. Yeah, they definitely did make this harder. All right, uh, you? Take a photo of you so you're my anchor. We can move to you. Take a photo of you so you're my anchor. Not what I needed. Come on. There we are. Excellent. Anchor you, and there we are. Cool. Uh, now we gotta get over there. No, we don't, <laughs> because I looked away from this thing for a second. Anchoring is gonna be such a force of habit from now on. We've made it. What can you teach us? We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Feel like this all could have been a PDF file, but I guess you very much wanted to build a quantum knowledge tower. The other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow you later. I will follow me later. What is this? Ooh! Oh. Comes down straight to here. Yeah, they were too lazy to install a lift, so they just put water in this one. Okay. Wow, that's absolutely nuts. So that means, though... Wait. Okay. Okay. As I'm sure was the intention... I now have an idea. Maybe we can use this knowledge to go forth and land on the quantum moon so that it won't technically be out of our sight once we arrive there. Okay, definitely hatching ideas for the next part, and we are just now hitting 89 minutes, which means we are just about at the end of this record session. Let's get in here and see what we've got. Log, what have we learned? Now, I believe the probe tracking module is the one that seems to have ended up beneath the core. Like, literally beneath the core. It's down here somewhere, and that electric storm almost seemed like a night sky when we looked at it in the projection stone. We have learned a whole lot, and the next destination, at least attempted destination, is definitely going to be the quantum moon. But that'll be next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. 
If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.